Welcome to NetSuite's Sweet Success demonstration of the financial management process. In this demonstration, we will walk through financial reporting and journal entries. I am now logged into NetSuite in my finance role. This is a purpose-built dashboard and it contains reminders, shortcuts and key metrics necessary for me to perform my job. I'd like to start by going over several key reports that are relevant to the controller role. The profit and loss, a budget versus actual report, the AP aging and the AR aging reports, all of which are accessible directly from my dashboard. By right clicking, I can open these up on new tabs in my browser. I'll start by reviewing my profit and loss. From here, I can pivot this report by accounting period, department, class or location. I can also add additional filters and can further customise this report to create company or role specific reports that can be published to the entire organisation or my own individual set of reports for review. We commonly see customers creating EBITDA and other customised reports dependent on their needs. With the click of a button, I'm now viewing our results by quarter. All of our reports are drillable and within a few clicks I can navigate from this profit and loss statement to any transactions in question. Additionally, I can export this report to Excel, PDF or Word if needed. It can also be emailed and even scheduled to be emailed on a specific day to individual recipients. I'd like to move to my budget to actual reports to follow up on any significant variances for the quarter. I've had problems with bank charges in the past and can see that I have significant variance in that account over the period I am analysing. With a click, I can now see the profit and loss detailed report. And with another click, I can see the detailed transaction that I believe is causing the variance. I'd like to pause for a moment to highlight this journal entry transaction form. This is where the transaction information is captured. The journal entry debits and credits are filled out on the line sub tab along with the corresponding department, class and location. We have the option to make these required as well, but my company has left them as optional. As a finance user in this account, I can change this transaction to correct the GL impact. There is also a full audit trail associated with this transaction under the System Information subtab, so that a month or quarter end review can be conducted on all transactions that I have both edited and saved. NetSuite is a real-time system, meaning that whenever a transaction is created or edited, it is updated across the entire system so no waiting for batches to process. I'll move to my accounts payable and accounts receivable reports. These are both similar in nature and like all reporting in NetSuite, allow for full drill down on each number in the report. They are also similar to the profit and loss report in that they can be customised and exported as needed. But with these, I can also set my preferences for the interval shown and the as of date for the ageing. I'll now go back to my dashboard and open up my bank reconciliation. Here I can set the date of the reconciliation and clear all deposits, payments and add any new charges that appear on my bank statement that are not yet recorded in the system. We have walked through at a high level reporting in NetSuite, journal entries and bank reconciliations. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.